Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question now. A heavy object is dropped from rest from a small height and hits the ground. Like why it is given that it is um, it's falling from a small height? Because uh, the question wants to tell you that gravity is constant. You it's not uh, variable because with height even the gravity even the gravity varies. Which graph shows how the object's gravitational potential energy varies with time? So we need to find the expression for gravitational potential energy uh, with respect to time. So what is the diagram now? So the diagram will look somewhat like this that let us say this is the building and the height is capital H so if the ball is now falling so the potential energy will be equal to mgh but this h is going to change so it is going to cover some distance as it falls so I can call this distance as s and so s is equal to ut plus half at square we know this formula will be applicable why because acceleration is constant then that is 9.8 meter per second square and because it is dropped u is equal to 0 so s will come out to be equal to half into g into t square taking the downward direction as positive and the upward direction as negative because everything that we are dealing with are vectors so that is why we need to have the sign convention we need to tell like which direction is positive which is negative so this is now s so what is the potential energy here so now the potential energy here will be m g h minus s so i can say h minus s so s distance has been traveled so what is the remaining height it is h minus s so this is the potential energy and so the expression for potential energy will become So this is the potential energy as a function of time. So I can say that EP, the potential energy is directly proportional to negative of T square. Every else thing is constant. So we need not to touch them. And we will just say that the potential energy is directly proportional to negative of T square. And that is what is here. So how do you draw the graph of negative of T square? Um, this is positive of T square. And the negative is this. We have seen it in the mathematics, no? Y is equal to X square and Y is equal to minus X square. The graph is like this. So, uh, it the graph should look like this, okay? So, it can be the option number two or I have to now see uh, which options are available. Yes, option number two and this is option number three. Okay, so option number two and option number four they look similar okay but question number uh, the option number two might be uh, it might not be a parabola it looks like a circle too uh, it's only the way they have drawn so I think uh, the answer should be four and at the end of the day it is going to be parabola here the inverse parabola you can say so uh, whether the answer is given is as four or as two but your answer will be in the inverse parabola okay this is going to be a straight line no this is not this is not right this is wrong so our answer is two yes the answer is two okay and now you know why the answer is two because in the option number four after some time the graph is becoming a straight line it can never become a straight line the variation for your potential energy is negative t square so it is a negative parabola it is this okay dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye